Again, this is just to get you home. You don't need to do 180s. I obviously am reckless, and you guys want to probably see me crash and burn, so I'm down. Shift the wheel. <laughs> Shift oh. the wheel. <laughs> What's up, you beautiful bastards? We're here at the Awesome Shit Store. Today is Thursday, so we're gonna have a Tech Thursday, which is a tutorial based on your bike. And yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, at Alfredo Mancuso, posted a picture of a chain that had like six different links in it and one zip tie. So a lot of the comments were like, hey, you should do a tutorial on this, or hey, you should actually show me how to fix my chain. If you check out my playlist here of my actual Tech Thursdays, you'll see that I have a lot of different tutorials on how to fix your bike altogether, and some cool little shortcuts on how to fix it when you're on the go. And just in case that this happened to you, we're gonna do a tutorial today on how to fix your chain while it's broken and you're kind of like left with very little tools and you might just happen to either find a spare piece of metal or a zip tie in this case. So let me show you what we got here. This is a new 2020 Colt Gateway. We have a ton of them here at Awesome Shit in a variety of different colors. So hit awesomeshit.com or come to our Awesome Shit Melrose location to pick one up. They're really nice as you can tell. But what I've done is come on here, my master photographer and videographer, Nicholas, aka Nicholas Martinez, right here. Yeah, get in there. This is bike porn. There it is, beautiful. All right, cool. This did not come out of the box. Colt does not give you defective products. I did that intentionally. And what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna bunny hop around until that bad boy snaps. Hopefully my knee doesn't go into the stem. This is not gonna be edited, and if there's a lot of cursing and or bleeding, please shield your eyes. All right, my knee cracked on the way up, so you know it's gonna be a good time. So, let's see how long it lasts. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm really trying to torque her. Okay, this is a testament to a good chain, I guess. Again, this is raw, unedited. All right, Dick, get back in there. As you can see, I got the shadow tool right here. Here's the one pin. I'm gonna push it a little further and hope that this time it works. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty terrified that my knee was gonna smack that stem. <laughs> no, was then I was gonna have to put that Drake meme that I put before where he's doing all the weird funky faces. All right, again, I'm just gonna push it a little bit. Let me see. All right, that should be it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna warp the tool or my knee, but here we go. It's literally a time thing. I think I either did it or I shifted the wheel. <laughs> oh. All right, there you go. Great success. Hopefully I didn't mess up this whole bike. I definitely shifted the wheel by kicking it down, but yeah. we can fix that in a little post. All right, so as you zoom in, what you can see, there went the pin. Oh no, the bearing. The bearing. All right, here we go. So quick anatomy lesson for chains. Chains in the center have a little bearing. This is a full link chain, so what it means is it has one male and one female link. This has a pin that goes through and holds a little bearing. So now what we've done, stupidly, as I just did, was remove the little bearing from in between the chain where the pin is being held. So I'm gonna use my hands and get it back on. All right, so we're good there. The chain has suffered a little bit of damage, but we're gonna fix that, don't worry. <laughs> but for now, what I'm gonna do is just remove the pin wholly. There it is, that's the pin. This is a pain in the butt to get back on later, but it's all right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a zip tie right here in case you have an emergency, and then we're gonna see if it's gonna hold. This little pin, I'm gonna put with this spare chain that we have over here and some zip ties. And as you can see, we're just gonna use a very thin zip tie. <laughs> I'm pretty concerned for my health once again. But what we're gonna do is get the chain first up and over the driver. This is actually the real way you're gonna do this anyways. Then, you're gonna feed the chain through the chain stays and get it onto the sprocket, like so. You're gonna come around and see if it measures properly, which it does. Get it on there, and now, just put the zip tie right through. The reason that it's working this well is because when I kicked the crap out of the crank, the whole wheel shifted forward. So we're gonna have to adjust that in a minute. But for now, here comes the zip tie. Got it through there. And zip tie it on tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, this is sketch. All right, let me adjust the wheel. The handy dandy shadow tool comes with an assortment of tools that you're gonna need, and one of them is this trusty 17, also a little wrench that's also a tire lever, but it's also a spoke wrench. So let's move this wheel back so it doesn't rub and ruin this beautiful tire. Oh, damn. Must have really kicked the crap out of it. And some soccer messy thighs I got. All right. Okay. Too tight? Nope, we're good. All right, well. As you can see, I have not even taken the liberty of cutting the excess. We're just gonna run it and see if it works. I'm gonna give it a good kick again. 
Okay, wheel shifted again. So you know what? That link is pretty strong. And as you can see, it hasn't even sustained any damage yet. I'm gonna move the wheel one more time. So one thing you should note, brand new bikes definitely have a lot of brand new paint. So the knurling on the bolts won't hold down as tight. We're gonna crank her down. We can get it to budge without moving the wheel again. Okay. All right, the wheel didn't move that time. <laughs> All right. It's held. All right. It's working good. <laughs> uh, As you said it. Literally. All right, so let's try this again, but no kicking. We're just gonna ride it. Look at here. This is an accident. I didn't even plan on this. I found the little metal piece with a little bit of plastic over it that goes at the end of bread. And sometimes when you buy any kind of things that comes like this, they'll use these little tie-ins, twisty. I don't know what you call these, but essentially it's a metal cable inside with a little bit of Come plastic. on top of bread. This little piece, we'll try and put it in there after and see if it works. But for now, let's try another zip tie. We'll keep that there. This should really work. But then again, you have to find the perfect zip tie. If it's too big, you're gonna have to whittle it, which means you're gonna have to use like scissors or something and get it a little tighter. But here we go. All right, she's barely on. Oh, okay. <laughs> for the record, that was a crappy one. Look at, they just snapped. All right, last one for the zip ties. I really lost hope with that last one. All right. I didn't even kick it that time, did it? Oh, the mortal sin. You see what this is? When you don't get the part, who's calling? Oh, Travis is calling. Damn it. It's okay. I won't answer. Okay, here we go. But you know what, Colt, you make good products because these things aren't breaking. Just to... Okay, that's it, no more. <laughs> I think I really stretched the chain. All right, I'm gonna hit 180. Please don't snap. It's gonna snap, I feel it. Oh! <laughs> All right. Oh, someone call a medic. All right, 48 zip ties later, and these white zip ties are not good. So I'm just gonna use a little tie-in from the bread. Again, this is just to get you home. You don't need to do 180s. I obviously am reckless, and you guys wanna probably see me crash and burn, so I'm down. I really feel like Bill Nye, the science guy, because we've tested about eight different things and none of them are working. Let's try this one that Dickless, my assistant, said he got off of an extension cord. I'm gonna wrap it a couple times. I mean, I ain't playing games no more. All right. It's on. I don't even care. <laughs> Did it already snap? It already snapped. Ah! So we learned a lot today about zip ties. Sometimes they're too wide, so I literally had to whittle this with these scissors mm -hmm. just to make it fit in this tiny little chain. It's through, but will it clip? Come on, clip. Yes, it clicked. I don't know how strong it's gonna be, but it's in there. All right. Please don't snap right at the beginning. Please don't snap. Get on. Yes, it's on. And the excess even broke off. I'm just gonna hit 180. And this hopefully will get you home. No, it won't. That's it. I quit. Zip ties will not get you home. But it was a fun experiment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know you probably wanted me to break my knee. It didn't happen in this video, but maybe the next one. Leave in the comments what else I should try, because that obviously didn't work. Maybe I'll try metal cable next time. But for now, we had to cut this short because somebody wants to buy this bike now that they saw the video. So I got to put it back together and put a new link in it. So. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow my filmer, Dickless, that helped. Give me a nod. You don't have to nod your head, just the camera. All right, anyways. Uh, bye, I'm out.